In America, you hire a U-Haul when you move. Guess what you hire in Korea? Generally, when your lease is about to come to an end, a pudongsan or real estate company will start to show your place while you're still living in it. Because of Korea's rental system, it's fairly uncommon to move into a unit that's been sitting empty. In Korea, there's no obligation to clean the home you've been living in before you move out because of superstitious beliefs. Typically, the flooring and wallpaper are replaced between tenants, but cleaning is left to the people who move in. 62.9% of housing units in Korea are apartments. Generally, buildings under 5 stories don't have elevators. Most taller buildings do, but might require an elevator fee to use it throughout your moving day because of the inconvenience it causes others in the building. Floor to ceiling windows on one side of the building are a feature of most Korean buildings. The must hire item in Korea typically starts at a cost of 100,000 won and gets more expensive the higher you're moving. And on moving day, you hire a sadaricha or a ladder truck to help you move.